The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has recently announced that residents of GCC countries, such as Qatar, are now eligible to apply for a new visa to visit Saudi Arabia with the added place to see and visit or perform the Umrah. Many residents of Qatar have been excited about the news. However, in this video, we takes you through a step-by-step -step process. How to apply for a new visa, if you're a resident of Qatar. Without any ado, let's start the video. Open any web browser and search for visitsaudi.com, or open the link given in the description. And then open first link. Once the website is open, scroll down and search for eVisa. And then click on Apply Now. Once the user clicks on Applying, a new web interface will open. Scroll down and search for GCC residents that can apply for tourism e-visa, and then click on it. Once the user clicks on the link, a new web interface will open. Change the language according to yourself. Let me change it to English. Accept website cookies by clicking on Agree. Here user has to create the account. To do that, scroll down and go to the login of individual visitors to Saudi Arabia. And then click on Register. Once the user clicks on the register, it will redirect to the registration portal. You must register before you can start creating a visa application, and then you must activate the account by clicking on the activation link sent to the entry email. Enter your email address. Then enter the password. And then enter the confirm password. And then scroll down, enter the image code. Once the user fills the required information, click on the register to proceed further. Once the user clicks on registration, a pop up window will open. The registration process has been successful and you must activate the temporary account within the next 24 hours to be able to use it by clicking on the activation link sent to your email. Let's close this window and then log in into your email address in order to activate the account. Let me log in into my account. As you can see on my screen, I have received an email from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, named as a unified visa platform. Let me read the email by clicking on it. Once the user opens the email he will have an activate button in order to confirm the email address. To confirm your email, click on that button. Once the user clicks on the button, it will again redirect to the visa portal, and he will be having a pop-up window that the email is successfully activated. As you can see on my screen now, let's close this window and then log in into the portal by clicking on individual login option. Scroll down and enter your login credentials. Then click on login. Once the user logs into the portal, he will have the option for a new application. Click on add a new application button. Once the user clicks on a new application, an online e-payment service agreement will open. Read the complete information, point by point, before you proceed. And then scroll down, click on Agree, to continue. Once the user clicks on Agree, an agreement will open. Read all the information carefully, and scroll down. Then click on Agree. Once the user clicks on Agree, the visa application form will open. Enter visa information, such as visa type, as tourism visit. Then select the transportation type as by air, by land, or by sea. Here I will keep it open, it means the applicant can use any type from the above.
Then select the city you're traveling from. I will select Doha because I am traveling from Qatar. Then enter personal information, such as first name and last name. Then upload your latest photo. Make sure your photo must have a white background and is in uniform. Then scroll down and select the current nationality of the applicant from the drop down list. Once the user selects the nationality, you will see some options. Do you or any of your first degree relatives have a valid tourist or business visa from the United States of America, the United Kingdom, or one of the Schengen countries and has been used at least once to enter visa issuing country or permanent residence in the United States of America, the United Kingdom or the European Union or a valid residence for a period of no less than three months in the countries of the Cooperation Council for the Gulf countries, including domestic workers who come with their sponsor or not from the above. Here users have to select the third option if you're the permanent residence of the Qatar. Then select previous nationality, if any, or else, select the same as your present nationality. Then enter the residence, or a visa number. If you are in Qatar residence, please enter the QID number. Then enter the validity of the residence, make sure the validity should be more than 3 months. Then select residence country from drop down list. Then enter the occupation of the applicant. Scroll down and upload the attachments, such as a scanned copy of the passport for the applicant. Make sure the attachment file should be in JPG or PNG formats. And also the file should not exit 1 megabyte in size. And then upload a scanned copy of permanent residence or visa of the applicant. Then enter the passport number of the applicant. Then passport type. Then select the issuing country from the drop down list. Then enter passport issuing date. Then enter the passport expiry date. And enter the date of birth for the applicant. Then enter the place of birth. Then select marital status. Then select the gender. At last please enter the home address of the KSA, where the applicant will stay, during his visit period. It might be a hotel, or a family home. Scroll down and select the port of entry, such as Al Medina, Damim, Duran, Jeddah, or Riyadh, and then enter the expected entry date to the kingdom. As you can see, the default in the application GCC residence will have multiple entries, with the 360 days of visa validity with total 90 days stay duration. Select the next option as yes if you want to perform Umrah during the visit or else select as no. Then the next option is to select yes, if you have ever traveled to other countries, during the last five years. If you select yes please, clarify the travel history, by clicking on the add button.
Once the user clicks on the Add button, a pop-up window will open, where the user has selected the visited country. Then the purpose of the visit. Then select the start date and end date of the visit. Once added the travel history, click on Save. As of now let's cancel it, because I don't have any travel history for the past years. Once the application is completed, enter CAPTCHA, and then click on Save. Once the user clicks on Save, a pop-up window will open, where the user will have the following message. The visa application undertaken, that all the data and documents submitted to be obtained, the visa are correct, and they are submitted to the complete authority upon request. Click on Continue. Medical insurance information for visit and transit visas form will open. Here the user has to enter the following details, such as expected entry date into Kingdom. Then the local P.O. box number. Then enter your present city. Then enter zip code. Then enter the applicant's email address. Then enter the applicant's mobile number. Then scroll down, and please answer the following questions as. Are you currently admitted to hospital, or receiving emergency medical treatment? Select yes, or no. Have you been in an accident that caused a permanent injury or disability? Select yes or no. Do you have any congenital disorder? Select yes or no. Once the application is completed, click on Save to continue. Then users will have available medical insurance companies with prices. Select any one of the insurance companies. Then click on Save. Once the user clicks on Save, the payment page will open. Scroll up, and the user will have a total four types of payment. Application fee, medical insurance services fee, medical insurance fee, and visa fee. User has to pay one by one. As per the updates, the single payment services will be available soon. Once the user completed the payment, the visa status becomes under process. After that you will have the approval status, if everything goes correctly, or you will receive the comments to comply. I hope you understand how to apply for the e-visit visa for KSA. It doesn't matter which country you're from, if you have the GCC residence you will get visa approval earlier. Thank you for watching this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Recently we have started the membership portal for our channel. Through membership you will get easy access for technical support at any time, for all the ELV systems.